Hola gente, ¿cómo están? En este video quiero hacer algo diferente, quiero hacer un video en inglés. Así que, empecemos. Pero antes de hacer eso, quería pedirles que se suscriban al canal y dejaran un like, porque este es uno de los videos que más tiempo me ha llevado a hacer. He dedicado entre grabación, edición, eh, hacer un script y todo, unas 20 horas de mi tiempo. Como saben, suscribirse es gratis, dejar un like también. Lleva un segundito y me ayudaría un montón. Ahora sí, continuemos con el video. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I fix my GPU with 3D printing. So let's get started. So I'm gonna give you a bit of context before I move on. The other day, I was playing CS:GO with my friends, and I started to hear a rubbing noise that it was coming from my graphics card, and suddenly it stopped. So I figured that, well, that might be one of those things that came for no reason and gets fixed by itself. A few moments later, my GPU thermal throttled. So, I pulled out the side panel from my rig and found out that the fan was stuck. Turns out that the blades were cracked and they were rubbing with the fan shroud. So, I have to fix this now. And I have a few options. One will be to go ahead and buy a newer graphics card, but man, those prices are a bit high for my taste. The other option will be to get new fans. But it's gonna ship in a month? Man, that's gonna take forever. So I decided to 3D print my own fans. And also I thought, it will be really cool to try to implement Noctua fans into this. So... I import them into Fusion 360, change some settings, and send it to a printer. While it was printing, I disassembled my GPU. After removing the fans, I also removed a small sticker that they have in the back, so to so I could get access to a small ring that is holding the shaft of the of the blades. Remove the two, and I separate both parts. With the fine pieces, I grab my flash cutters and remove all the remaining blades. Sand the hub smooth and press fitted the 3D printed fan in place. I put everything back and fired up my rig. Only to hear the insane noise that it was coming from my GPU. Also after hitting it with full mark it thermal throttled again. So what happened? 
Well, I think that not true fans are in design for this application. So I, I went back to a drawing board and then I remembered that I already have a way better design that was even customizable. I'm talking about a 40mm fan that it was actually meant for the hot end cooling fan. Apparently people break this all the time. So I imported the design into OpenSCAD, uh, change some th settings according to my needs, make the fan a bit more aggressive, so it push a bit more air and After that I assemble everything back, hopefully for the last time. I also took this chance to repaste my GPU because you know thermal paste goes bad after some time. So with everything in the place that it should be, I fired up the rig again and found out that the GPU was not only performing a lot better, probably because of the new thermal paste too, but it also was a fair bit quieter. And before you ask, yes, I checked the RPMs before and after, and they are around 50 RPMs slower, so I think that it should be fine. So, after 3D printing a fans and also improving the noise performance by quite a bit, I declare this as a victory for my book. I hope you find this video helpful, and if so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you the next time. Oh, um, before you ask, uh, yes, I'm leaving everything in the description down below so you can download the design, the original files and everything. So now I will see you in the next time.